Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the brand new Rouge Coco Flash Lipsticks just launched by Chanel. This is the new and improved version of the original Rouge Coco Shine Lipsticks, which are now basically discontinued. I think the last I checked on Chanel.com, they had one shade listed as back ordered. At my Nordstrom, we have maybe a handful, three or four shades left, and I'm sure there are dwindling quantities of certain shades scattered throughout all of the different retailers. But if you haven't stocked up on your favorite Rouge Coco Shine, it may be too late because really the Rouge Coco Flash are now widely available. They did bring back some of the old shades that were the most popular, and even if it's not the exact same name, same number, there's probably something similar because there are 27 shades of this lipstick. So many shades. They even brought out three new top coats, which is a really fun, unique idea that's really cool. I have all of them. I have every single shade to swatch for you guys, so I'm very excited to share all of these different colors. Hopefully my lips can handle it because that is a lot of lip swatches. But first I'm gonna go ahead and open up this one. This was my personal favorite. It's the Rouge Coco Flash number 76 Enthusiasm. The box is identical, just the different name. And then you can see it still comes in the slimmer packaging. So this is a little bit more thin than the Rouge Coco and then the Rouge Allure lipsticks. And then the only real noticeable difference in the packaging is the top. It has this transparent clear top, which I thought I was actually going to hate, but it looks really pretty. It almost looks sort of crystal from afar and not just clear plastic, but that's really the only difference. Chanel did slightly increase the prices of their lipsticks, so now these retail for $38 instead of $37. The Rouge Coco Flash lipsticks contain a blend of oils, so it's a more hydrating formula. They're not incredibly long wearing, however, some of the shades, especially the deeper tones, will stain your lips, so you do maintain a little bit of color, but these are really more of a sheer formula. Now, the website describes them as having intense color, intense pigmentation. I don't know about you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this on my hand. It's a very pretty shade. I would not consider that to be intense pigment. I think if you're looking for something that's incredibly powerful with color, you're better off going with the Rouge Allure, the Rouge Allure Velvet, the Velvet Extreme, something more along those lines. However, it is still a really nice color. So that's the hand swatch. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my lips for the first time, I'm so excited. And again, this is the shade 76 Enthusiasm. With these, I never only do one swipe. I sort of build up the color a little bit. If you wanted less color, you could do just the one swipe. And because they are meant to be a little bit more sheer, I also rarely use a lip liner because I want it to just be a very soft lip. But I love this color. It's actually more pigmented on the lips than I had originally expected. It's like a soft, warm, pinky, cotton candy coral type color, which is exactly what I was looking for for spring and summer. So this is the first shade that we are starting with and I'm gonna go ahead and show you all of them. So I'm gonna bring the camera in nice and close so you can see what these colors look like in person. While most of the shades are more sheer, there are a few that are incredibly deep and pigmented. So that's the way I separated them to give some sort of organization to this lip swatch video. So that way you can narrow down a few shades that you might be interested in. I'm going to start with the shades that are more sheer or more transparent, and then I'm going to move into the shades that are more pigmented. Next up is number 72 Rush, a pale pink, very similar to Enthusiasm. Number 74, Flash, is a slightly cooler version than Enthusiasm, but these three lipsticks are very similar. Number 60, Beat, is a warm orange. Eighty-six, Furtive, is a red with warm pink undertones. 
Number 97 Fervor is a sheer true red. Number 91 Bohem is a color that they brought back from the Rouge Coco Shine. It's a pinkish red, and I think this one is slightly different than the original. Number 78 Emotion is a more sheer version of Bohem. 82 Live or Live is a sheer mauve shade. Number 84, Immediate, is a very sheer nude. Number 52, Casual, is a brown base nude. Number 53, Chicness, is a deeper brown nude. And then to round out the more sheer shades is 54, Boy. This is the most popular. It's a perfect kind of pinky nude great everyday color, by far the most popular Rouge Coco Shine. These are the first 13 colors, starting with number one, Enthusiasm, and going all the way to number 54, Boy. Going into the more intense shades now, I'm starting with number 90, Jour, which is a pinky nude. Number 62, Fire, is a warm coral. 99, Pulse, is a warm red. Number 68, All Team, is a blue-based red. 106, Dominant, is a deep red. Number 96, Phenomen, is a berry shade. Number 98, Instinct, is a berry red. Number 92, Amour, is a deep cherry red. 64, Ardent, is a raspberry shade. Number 94, Desir, is slightly more purple, very similar to Amour. Number 70, Attitude, is a true red. Number 102, Noir Modern, is a deep vampy shade. 104, Temper, is a deep berry red. To round things out, number 56, Moment, is a pigmented brown nude. These are the more pigmented Rouge Coco Flash lipsticks all the way from Jour down to Moment. And you can see there are a few right in here that look very similar. Now I am back in my original color enthusiasm and my lips are very exfoliated. <laughs> they do feel really nice though. I think because all of these lipsticks have that blend of oils, they're very hydrated. And I must say I chose a few favorites. So of course, number 76, the shade that I'm wearing right now. My other favorites would be 91 Bohem, which was always one of my favorite Rouge Coco Shine lipsticks. I really love the new Rouge Coco Flash version. I also love 90 Jour. This is a really beautiful everyday shade. Number 96 Phenomen. I'm not sure I'm saying that correctly. This is more of a deeper berry shade, but I think it's very beautiful and somewhat unique. It's sort of different than the others that are sort of similar. Then I have 84 Immediate. This is another really pretty pinky nude everyday shade. And then of course, boy, number 54. This is such a beautiful popular shade for good reason it truly is universal so it's really great for everybody all skin types all skin tones if you're very fair it may give you a little bit more color if you're darker in to skin tone it's going to be more maybe of a balm for you and just a very light hydrating um, sort of shine effect, but it's still very beautiful and I think it'll still continue to be the number one. So those are my personal favorites. Now let's go ahead and get into the lip toppers or the top coats. There are three different ones. There is 
enhancing so this has more of an orange tone and this is meant to just increase the vibrancy of whatever shade you throw it over so it's very very sheer then we have intensifying so this is similar to the black lip gloss or any sort of dark gloss it looks I mean it sort of looks deep brown but it just gives a slight dark color which is really just going to deepen whatever you throw it on top of and then there is illuminating so this top coat is really just ooh, I have a little lipstick on there it's really just sort of a glossy a glossy shiny there's a little bit of a shimmer but it's not very much this is just going to sort of add hydration and a little shine to whatever you throw it on top of so these could be worn alone but it's also just going to alter a lipstick and they paired these um, in the visual with a rouge cocoa lipstick so you don't necessarily have to use them on top of a rouge cocoa flash you could put it on top of any existing lipstick that you already own so you can see these top coats in action I have four swatches of the exact same liquid lipstick this is the original with nothing on top this has the intensifying top coat the enhancing top coat and the illuminating top coat so you can see it changes the color ever so slightly overall I absolutely love this formula I think it's very similar to the original Rouge Coco shine I love the updated packaging I think it looks very sleek very luxurious so these lipsticks are truly beautiful now that we've gone through all 27 shades including the three top coats this video is complete so thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up leave me any of your comments or your questions down below I will be linking the lipstick in several different retailers so just just in case you don't usually like to shop at Nordstrom, I'm going to include a link for Saks, for Neiman's, anywhere else I can find it, Chanel.com, you name it. I'm also going to be linking all of the makeup products that I use today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.